Power 106, new at two. Felly Fells in the mix. Yesi Ortiz. Uh, man, I'm excited to talk to this dude who we have. A, we have a special guest in the studio. I'm excited to talk to him. Yes, I'm special. You. <laughs> <laughs> he said that. You said that real light skin, even though you're not. Yes, I'm special. I'm not saying I am special. I just felt glad to say that you said I'm special. Yeah, man. Safari Samuels is here. What up? Uh, or do we just call you stuntman? Do we call you? You could call me. All right, call me Safari. I don't like the Samuels are my full name. Like I don't know that why they so do that. That sounds so government and official, yeah, right? Yeah, that's from like album credits. They just always did that to me. But it's Safari, and when you see me, call me stuntman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see you stunting with a bunch of jewelry. No, I mean just... all this looks kind of flashy. No, I'm just trying to look nice. Yeah, well, let me hold a hold an earring. I mean, a ring or a necklace or something while we. <laughs> All right. Here. There you go. There. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna be responsible for that, bro. <laughs> uh, you can't have that back. But thank you. Appreciate right. that. Welcome to the new one too. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, you got a mixtape that's out. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, it's out. It's available right now on dot uh, datpiff.com and on my website iamsafari.com and everywhere it's all over the place right now now um um when we first heard burner mm -hmm. uh out yeah everyone was like wow he he has like this you know swag that's very similar to somebody that we know uh-huh <laughs> um and uh and someone who was close to you still close to you and then you have the mixtape that dropped mm -hmm. and then i was taking a listen to the mixtape uh-huh and let, let me be clear here i okay. wanted to invite you to the new ad too because of your music okay okay not because of who your relationships are and who you are attached to, mm -hmm. like Nicki Minaj. Uh -huh. But I did want to bring you in here because of your music. This is a new yeah, too. Definitely, it is a platform yes. for new, new artists mm -hmm. and new music. Okay. Um, but it's inevi inevitable uh -huh. that I have to ask you some questions. <laughs> of course, you're making me scared right now. Why? Why? Don't be scared. I'm Look, I'm per I got two dimples. I'm fine. All right, cool. I trust you. You feel me? All right, you just changed my outlook. Don't be, <laughs> don't be scared. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm probably, probably, I, I don't like to dig. If you don't, if I get the vibe that I, that you don't want me to dig, I'm not gonna dig. I fall back. Uh -huh. That's how it works. So, um, but this mixtape is incredible, and we are Thank gonna you. talk about that. I appreciate that. Thank uh, you. Would well, you get that a lot though? Do you get that a lot as far as like you just getting the, you know, you getting a, a pass? quote unquote because of who your relationship you know who you were attached to mm -hmm. because of the Nicki Minaj card no because I don't even think I got a pass as far as I, I'm still proving myself right now so I don't think anyone's looked at me like I got a pass and then also people who really know know that I have been working all these years whether you saw me in the forefront and doing radio interviews and putting songs out like I've been working just as long as anybody else around me so it's not like i i just been doing nothing and now i'm like okay let me try this you yeah. know i've been doing this right but i mean it's got to help you a little bit because i mean you have a you know you got all eyes on you right now yeah and you my friend mm -hmm. are very subliminal on your social media tweets as far as what as far as like i don't know you you be you be tricking me no i read some of your tweets tell me because like, i want to know because there's i changed my um twitter name it used to be Scaff Beasy. That was his own name, but it's I Am Safari now. Right. And I don't know what you're talking about, if you're talking about anything new, recent, or what. Okay. Let's talk about the recent stuff. Okay. Because the old stuff about. is the old stuff, and I think a lot of people already kind of knew the old stuff, right? The, uh -huh. the little, the little, I don't know, shots fired maybe. No? No shots fired against another I'm, particular I'm, artist in the business? Nah. I, that's one thing with me. If yeah. you really know me or look at my stuff... I don't even like entertain that. Okay. Like at all. Because it doesn't do anything for me. You know what I'm saying? That's not even the lane that I'm in. How how true were the tweets that you said you sent like saying uh there was a tweet that was sent out, this could have been better with you. Oh, when I said this would have been dope to do together. Yes. About the be better have my money remix. Who were you talking about? No, 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 no. It wasn't about the remix. The remix. It was just this could have been just better was with you. It just was in general about everything that I'm doing now because now the um, response that I'm getting from people about my music is definitely is is a good feedback I'm getting. So I'm just saying when I said that it was it would have been dope to do it together, but it's I'm who, not. Who are you talking to though? I just was saying it. <laughs> 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 who are you talking? Uh, to, are you talking about Nikki? 
I would say. I, I mean, that was your girl for like twelve years. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. I'm human, so yeah. You have a heart. Yeah, I was saying that, but it's not like I'm saying okay. I'm putting that out there, and I want to try to go and get her back. Nah, I just was saying it would have been dope to do together, but it is what it is. You know, I'm yeah. a, I got to do what I got to do. Yeah, we all have this like wishful wishing, like you know, like this these things, like mm-hmm. you know, an yeah. ex that would have brought in, like damn that because you guys were like Bonnie and Clyde, like little part, you know, dynamic duo. Yeah. So I get that. Mm-hmm. I get that. But then why? Wait. Like, how is it? See, you confuse me when I say you confuse me on your tweets because you you tweet something like that, uh-huh. right? And I'm thinking kind of like an ex girlfriend, right? Okay. I'm like, oh, so romantic. But then uh-huh. I see a tweet that says I love you, and then it's a, an emoji of a sunflower. Is that was that from you? Because there was a rumor, a speculated tweet about that referring to K Michelle. No, nah, I never tweeted that. <laughs> no? <laughs> nah. I'm like, what? I'm thinking you about, nah, I don't know. I, that never happened. Really? Okay. Nah, Lies nah. because I read that a lot on the blogs. I was like, dang, he, he tweeted nah, that like, and then deleted it? Nah, she's my friend, but I, I wouldn't say I love you and put a sunflower. Okay. Yeah, nah, that never happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that's what we're here for to clear up some. Okay, some rumors cool. Then, I'm, I'm glad because see, and also too, there be stuff going on that I don't even be knowing is going on. Mm-hmm. That's the first time I ever heard about that. Okay. Oh, what right. what about well, how is your relationship with you and K Michelle? You guys are just friends? Yeah, nah, it's not even not like that. We're just we're just cool. We're friends. You guys hang out like on date night and stuff. Mm, I'm saying we don't call it date night, but we've hung out before. That's cute. Yeah, she's a, she's a nice person. Yeah, she's country. She's very she's beautiful. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's full of um positive energy. And the thing too, what um made me and her connect is that like, you know, I know a lot of people in the business. But as far as like when I started, you know, when we, when me and um, her had split, and I started like focusing on my stuff, I didn't have like, and nobody was reaching out to me just to say, "Yo, what's up? You know, are you good? Yo, we still." And it's not like I want that, but it's still like you can still see who was real and who's, you know, what I'm saying. There's a few people who hit me up and just was like, "Yo, you've always been real to me, so you know, what I'm saying it's nothing but peace and love, whatever, whatever," and. She put out a, a video dancing to my song, and it brought, like, another light to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, TM, it was on TMZ. They were talking about it there, and then people was like, yo, what's that song she's dancing to? And it really helped me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you I reached and, out to her and, and I was, Yeah, because before that, I didn't know her. Oh, got it. Yeah, so. You guys weren't even... I didn't I didn't know that. I thought for some... No, nah, I, 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 I never of... met her a day in my life before that. So you saw that video... I this saw that dope. video. It was Reached like out to her. it was like four o'clock in the morning. I thought I was dreaming, and then you thought she <laughs> nah, because I was like, "Yo, why, why would she do that?" Yeah, and it was a nice video. Yeah, yeah, it was. Look <laughs> at you. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, that's. I mean, that's that was the start of something very nice. Potentially yeah, because like be I something. really, I really appreciate it. Like anyone who's gonna like give me any type of um positivity and just I'm a. I'm gonna keep it real. She looks like she she likes you like more than just like you. Like why would you say that? Because man, I see like you know part of my job is to like you know read what's out there uh-huh. and if it's whether it's true or false. This is why we bring the artist in to come in and mm-hmm. say true yeah. or false. Mm-hmm. So I read and I see what she does and it's like whoa, it it almost looks like she really falling for you. I I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have you, uh, you know, well, let's 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 remind everyone, LA, we have Safari in the in the building, aka Stuntman, Thank uh, you. with the new mixtape. It is what it is. Yeah. Out. Uh, we gonna play. I love this. LA too, by the way. Yeah, you've been out here for a while. March just made six years. I've been out here. Six like, years. This is like a different form of paradise, I think, LA, because I'm from New York. Yeah. So out here though, it's like this is like a um, it's just a more paradise version of. New York. Can we talk about what happened in New York? You want to clear that clear that up? Oh, with those guys yeah. right for me? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So there was a video that that was going around uh-huh. about you going back to Brooklyn, where yeah. you're from, yeah. visiting your goddaughter. I think it was. Yeah. And you, See, you're smart. At least you didn't, because people saying, "Oh, you went there to shoot a video." That's not what I was doing. You were you were there visiting your your. That's what I. Yeah. Right. So mm-hmm. then uh, a couple of dudes came up to you. Yeah. Um. I just was standing outside and I seen like about six cars pull up. And then um, it wasn't even a thought in my head. And then they all just came out of the car. And they all just started walking up to me. And I'm like, okay. Um, 
what, what am I supposed to do? Right. So then they just start mouthing off and just saying like like the stuff they were saying had nothing to do with anything. And then um then I just seen another guy, he came out of a car and then he had like his face like covered up with like a t shirt and then he had like his hand in his pants. Yeah, like I saw was, that. That even scared me and I was like, watching he was it like here. reaching for a gun or something. So when I saw that, that's when I was like You gotta go. Like what the hell am I gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like these guys they're here. I got a lot to live for, so I'm not gonna do nothing stupid. And you're at your family's house. Yeah, your like goddaughter's house. Like, yeah. So I just got in the car. Surrounded the car, mouthing off, whatever, whatever, and then, you know. And it then is left. what it is. And you, and you, it's like they did that, then they left. Like it's not even like I left. I like I was there in the car and you know. Did you get a phone call or anything about that coming leaving, like, you know, but after? Yeah, after. Or? Oh, no. Nah, after, it was like, I had I had to do a lot to really tell people to chill. Because I had, like, a million people really trying to go and do the most drastic things. And I'm like, yo, if anything happens to anybody, it's all going to come back on me. Right. So just leave it alone. Because nobody touched me. Nobody took nothing. So, you know. Yeah, what was the reasoning for them to do that? Just because they just wanted to, rem- like, what was there? I guess, I guess they felt like... um I moved and didn't do anything to come back for the hood. Oh, got it. Per se, mm-hmm. but you know, I don't I don't even know these guys. Like what am I supposed to be doing for you? But you know, when people say, "Oh, people they make it and then don't come back to the hood." You feel like you can go like you can go back now? I, yeah. yeah. I went back the next day. Oh, got it. And shot a video. And that's when you shot the video. Okay. Yeah, that's when I really went to that's shoot the video. That's when you shot the video yeah. for it. For Burner. No, no, no. It was for s- this song called Computers. Okay. It's a freestyle. I just put that video out yesterday. Oh, got it. Okay. It's on World Star. There it is. Yeah. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> but, you know, thank God I'm alive, wasn't touched, and I'm good. Yeah, now you're good. You, you, you straight to go back. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Cool. Burner is the name of the song. That yes. Burner. Has been a lot of t- a lot of people talking about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to go ahead and introduce it for the first time? Is this going to be the first time being played on Man, radio? Man, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm starting to like well up a little bit just to like <laughs> I can't believe it's about to be played on LA radio. That's crazy. Cuz I remember yeah, I remember uh we had a chance to meet before uh, you know, what was it last year? Before the Pink Print album came out, we, uh-huh. me and E-Man went to the studio. Yeah, 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 we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard Nikki's stuff before it came out. Uh-huh. And then there was talks that you guys didn't listen to the the, the radio station cuz you thought we didn't, I don't know, there was thoughts about we didn't support Nikki or something. I'm like, "What? That's all we do is play Nikki." Yeah, nah, I don't know if that was. But how true was that? Like there nah, was. Nah, we like, listen to the radio all the time. Oh, okay. Especially like Power One Hundred Six. Like that's all we listened to in the car. Like if we were listening to the radio. Yeah. But most of the time, it was always on your station, and you're always hearing that sunny, Cali music. Hey, <laughs> in the West Coast vibe. Yeah. Well, this let's take it to New York. Let's take it to it, the East Coast. It's East Coast, but it's still... Still got a little West Coast yeah, swag to it. Yeah, because in the song, I'm saying, hold up there. I'm the mayor. I am really way up there. It's the middle of the summer, and I still wear fur. Fur. <laughs> like, it's the middle of the summer, and, and I, I still, still wear, wear fur, fur, fur. Fur. So that's why in the video, I'm wearing a lot of fur coats, and you know... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, If you live out here in L.A., it's hot and sunny, you can yeah, still Yeah, it's almost a kind fur. of... A, you know what? I was almost like... You really, you really want to wear fur in the middle of the summer? That's kind of. But I'm really this <laughs> summer. I'm, I'm really gonna do that. I'm gonna be wearing fur vests and. Man, why you gotta make me jealous? So why you gotta make fools jealous? Uh, how? <laughs> we could we could do it together. It's, we could all you know what I'm saying. It don't gotta be no crazy fur. Felly Fell's got uh Felly Fell's ready. He's got the record. Felly Fell, you about to you about to make history for me, brother. Hey man, we're dropping sirens. Yo, yeah. that was the first time your song burner is played on radio you mm-hmm. were in la we should have had champagne instead my man over here being you know a thug with green tea you know tea. what i didn't even think i thought it was too early in the day for y'all what? to be turning up are you kidding what what are those what are those you think that's just decoration those Yo, are tags man, of patron like, bottles i feel like dirt man those are tags of patron bottles Yo. All empty. We need to start we doing that. We just disguise it. You know what I'm saying? That's a With great some idea. decorations. I like that. I mean, that's we should have done that. I think we might have a little something. I should go find out, go get a look at my cabinet and see if we can take a little shot. All right. At least I'm to celebrate. Down. Seriously. I mean, I, come on. And you know what? Like, I'm not really a super big drinker, but when I do drink, I do like tequilas. Oh, you do like the I love okay. tequila. Okay. Like you got a favorite brand? Patron. Patron. Yeah. Silver. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. I love it. That it Pat tastes, and Ron. And it just, <laughs> it gets you straight to the point. Yeah. I don't got to mix Long Islands and no. margaritas and all that. No, 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 shot, no. boom. And you feel nice. It right feels away. nice and warm. Instant. Instant, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember so we had, y'all, y'all was drinking in the studio that day. We got we to gotta do that, man. We should have done that today. We it, we were sleeping. <sighs> we got to make up for it. You haven't been sleeping. I've seen that you're like in the, in the studio heavy. Yo, yesterday, like, man, I didn't get any sleep the day before yesterday but last night i said yo i have to sleep because i don't want to be up here looking tired with bags under my eyes and stuff like that but um yeah it's crazy too so with this mixtape out mm-hmm. you're planning your you're, that's what that's what it is you i see that you're like i'm free i'm free to do my music I'm free woke up to... feeling like he man yeah thank god i'm a free man hey. Pro said my time was coming <laughs> he could tell the future like free mm. Come on. I heard I I was skimming through your mixtape, man. Uh Bruce Wayne is another one of my favorites. Thank you. Uh, the people I get a great, great, great response from Bruce Wayne. Uh I'm dope. I love I'm dope. <laughs> I love I'm dope. Uh yeah, there was a couple of them on there was a few of actually the whole mixtape is really well done. Thank the, you. There was Thank those you. ones that were specific that was like ah, like memorable. Yeah, you that's what's me? up. I appreciate that. It, that's, very memorable. I, I really appreciate your critique and feedback, especially coming from you, because you're somebody who I really, I admire your opinion and I believe appreciate your that. opinion, you know, so you count. Thank you. I appreciate that. You count Thank life. you. Thank you very much. That's, 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 that's nice. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the, the, the mixtape is incredible. So now that that is out, you mm-hmm. said, yo, I'm a free man to do this music. This is what you wanted to do. This is how long have you been waiting? Man, I've been, and also I've been like rapping and just, you know, doing music since like 03. I used to be in a group back in the day. But, you know, i um been into music since 93, Foo Schnickens, Shaquille O'Neal. I told I saw a booty cat. I did. I did the Humpty Dumpty best for Grumpy. Pick it up, Mr. Fix a Kick. I'm on top. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Like Pinocchio knows he wanted to da 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 Humpty Dumpty cat, my hump nose. So play those seeds, those suck the ash, my lyrical dots. So why the seven to seven to circle? You know what I'm saying? That's. <laughs> You remember that? Or is That's that... crazy yeah. that you remember that. Yo, Fushnikins, I, I used to listen to that song all the time. Can we rock? What's up, Doc? Can we rock? Yeah. Love that. Wow. And that's what, that's, uh, this is what, 12 that... years? Now 12 years? 13 years? That was, I don't know. I'm not good with math. But yeah, neither am I. Yeah. I suck at math. Yeah. I could have said three days. <laughs> that's probably what it was. You feel me? Hold on. We're in 2015. <laughs> Two, that's 93 yeah so that's about 45 years ago yeah yeah 45 years makes se- perfect sense yeah <laughs> absolutely absolutely 45 uh, years ago uh what's what's next for you then this the mixtape is out you're gonna get back you're in the studio 24 7 yeah now like i wanna now that it's done like i wasn't really accepting um doing shows and stuff like that i wanted this to be done and put this out and then now i want to be able to like go out and see people i want to be able to perform go do shows and when I do shows, like, it's going to be, like, crazy. Cause, like, yeah, because this mixtape is high. I saw a tweet as well, very high energy. Yeah. And the mixtape is that, very high energy, very yeah. in your face. Thank you. You're not mm-hmm. going to be able to sleep. Yeah. You know that, right? Like, Me? Yeah, or you're going to pe- be exhausted. Me too, probably. If I went to a, a, a safari show, I'd probably be exhausted and living Yo, off that high. I'm going, like, in my stage energy, I don't know if you ever used to, like, come to the old shows, like, my stage energy. Like, yeah. I'm going to be on 10 trillion. Do you plan on jumping in on any people's uh jumping uh having a collaboration at all? With other people? With other people? Um I'm not really big on like wanting to do songs with like other people and stuff like that. And especially like right now, it's like I wanna, you know, build myself up and I wanna, you know, get people to rock with me for me. I don't wanna force you know myself onto anyone like other artists that I'm cool with. I don't want them to make them feel like, oh man, this guy's gonna ask me to do a song. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, you know what I'm saying. Right. So I just rather do everything myself. And if they come to me and then if it makes sense, you know what I'm saying. You know, and I also too, I want I want to like like the person I work with. Yeah. I don't want to just do songs because somebody sent me a song and says, hey, let's do it. Do you like anyone? Uh, are you cool? I mean, obviously you you're cool with the Young Money crew. Mm-hmm. Like, like we're cordial. Cordial. You know, like. No problem, nothing like that. But now nah, my favorite artist, um, Big Sean, um, Big Sean, Ludacris, Wayne, and, um, Wayne. You think Wayne would do something with you? Nah. No. <laughs> nah, that's a that's a conflict of interest. That wouldn't happen. Really? Yeah. Can't keep it for business. Nah, man. Just because because like, because of the Nikki thing. Yeah, but I I wouldn't you know I wouldn't even try to do that or you know what i'm saying expect anyone or put myself in that type of position so yeah you know 
What do you think about Meek Mill's music? Um, I'm saying if I, nothing I, happened. Nah, I like the. You were, fi- you were friends. I like the what's it called? I like that Millie on the corner. Yeah. Around the corner, whatever that. I like that, and the um, and the pasta song. You the, seem the, the type of dude that can give props where props is due. The one Regardless thing, of one, whatever. one thing about me, I'm not a hater. I don't hate on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't do that. Like, I had um, I do motorcycle videos and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I put his intro in it, his song. So like, I'm not no, I'm not no bitter bird cornball. Like, I'm not no little kid who's out here. Acting. That wasn't anything subliminal. It's just you know what I'm saying. Nah, if you got something that I like it, I'm gonna listen to it. It don't matter. I'm not the type of person that if I'm in the club, hey, and then somebody's song come on be like this. <laughs> I've seen some artists do that. I'm not going to say who, but I have seen yeah. some artists that will stop bob- bobbing their head to the record because they're yeah, not, but that's just, you know, that's, cool with the person. That's, man, it's, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you seem like a straight up dude. I, you know, I'm, 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 I'm too secure in myself mm-hmm. to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, I work out every day. I feel good about myself. I'm alive. You got a crazy mixtape. My mixtape is crazy. Uh, the album, we'll get an album next year. Um, it's so crazy. It's like I got, I have enough material for an album. You know what I'm saying? But man, I'm telling you, it, the swag you have sounds very much like Nicki was influenced by it, and I love Nicki. Uh huh. But, but let, I, let because me, you guys were, you know, working together for but so long. I think when people say that, I think people say that because it's like they know me and her were affiliated or whatever. Because let me tell you, if people didn't know that I was with her. I would say, if anything, you know what I'm saying, because she's similar to Ludacris' style and Wayne. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I would say, mm, that person sounds like Ludacris or Wayne. But just because me and her came up and they know that we're together, people's like, oh, he sounds like Nicki. Or like, you know, but I don't even, I, and I really don't hear it, but I'm sure people on the outside looking is like, ah, well, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 because you've been together for, you know, you were together for so long that. Yeah, but then also, I don't know. It's the like influence we, is there. We from New York, like, I'm. S- I like to th- say lines that make people think. I like to give metaphors. I don't like to just say words that rhyme. Mm-hmm. I like to say, "Yo, you, like, I wanted to be like, damn." What did he this mean? This is my fourth time hearing this song, and I just realized that he said this time. You know what I'm yeah, right, 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 right. Way more than a hype man. Now lights on me like nightstands. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Get it? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, decode that. All right, so yeah, <laughs> make some sense of things. Yeah, right. Think about it. I like that when I say something, you gotta look up and think. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, man, I've had a good time talking with you. Thanks I had a good being, time talking. With thanks with for you being too. so honest. I You're appreciate welcome. you being very honest. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the mixtape, like I said, is is very well done, very well put together. Thank you. I I'm sure we'll it. look for it. We'll see an album sometime. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. This mixtape was kind of like an album, though, and people were hitting me back. It's like. The freestyles that are on it, I put those on it because, like, I was throwing out freestyles for, like, the past few months just to, like, give people an introduction to let people see that this is what I'm doing now. Right. But then it's like, okay, then I got the original music on it. But, you know, I'm going to probably take off some freestyles and then put out an um, EP in a few. Okay. So very soon. Yeah. You put an EP out. Mm-hmm. Okay. You have a sh- first show planned already? Show. Um, Nah. As a matter of fact, hold on. I th- think I have a show set up in... May, but it's so crazy. Like a few hours after the mixtape came out, like somebody from overseas in um, Europe, he called and said, "Hey, um, I want to do twelve dates with him out here." Wow! So you'll be on the road. Yeah, you'll be on the road. Um, so it's safe to say that you're not going to be tied down to any female for the next few months because you're going to be on the road. Yeah, but you want to know what's so crazy? It's like I be feeling like I want a female companion, but um, I just. I have to really focus on myself right now because I gave so much, you know what I'm saying? I really gave so much of myself for so long and didn't, you know what I'm saying? I lost track of myself. So it's like now that I'm back on me, I need to focus on me and get myself together because I don't want to go into a new relationship with somebody and bad habits from the last and things that I would say could have been like poisonous for what I was in or what I was doing. I don't want it to lead into my next relationship. Yeah. Because it's like I've spoken to people and girls I'm talking about and stuff like that. And then it's like they could kind of tell you got some 
things you need to figure out with yourself first before you try to you be know into the relationship. Yeah. yeah, I think that's with everybody though. You you always have you know I'm you, not, you I'm tend not. to kind of lose yourself. You know, yeah, because yeah. you're not thinking about us anymore. You're thinking about me. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's hard to think about me because before it was like, what did we like? Yeah. You know, what did we like to do? What was the color that we chose? And it's like you lose yourself, sort of say. Yeah, and it's so it's like it's easy to happen. Yeah, absolutely. You get used to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I I get it, and it was a long time. You know, now so, so we're gonna wrap up this interview, but before we go, if mm -hmm. you could say something right now, sub no subliminals, mm -hmm. to either. Nikki mm -hmm. or Meek or uh -huh. K Michelle. What would you say? <laughs> Yo, that's a No uh, subliminals. Uh, well, it can't be a subliminal because you just said right. you know what I'm saying? No subliminals. Straight. I mean, this is I'm, LA radio. What yeah. would you say to Nikki? Um You love her, you miss her. No, nah, I wouldn't I would just say God bless. God bless God bless Nikki Minaj. God bless. I like that. Why you keep looking at your man? Oh, I think nobody's over there. I'm, see, <laughs> when I'm looking up like that, I'm in thought. What about uh, Meek Mill? What would you say to Meek? God bless. K Michelle. Hi K. <laughs> <laughs> hey girl, uh, hey. <laughs> he gonna be uh, seeing you later, girl. <laughs> Get ready. He's I got that eggplant her. ready. I saw her yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got that eggplant ready for K Michelle. Stop playing, fool. I saw her yesterday. But oh, yeah? Like, she sent you some yeah. cute pics on their phone? No, I saw her. She didn't send me any pics. And did she send you that. cute pics? No. Y'all be sending cute pictures We're just friends, though. It's nothing oh like God. that. I'm can't with you anymore. I'm serious. I can't with you anymore. <laughs> you know what that just friends in the industry means, right? No, no, no. But, <laughs> hey, I don't know because I don't really even consider myself like an industry person. But when I say like... You are an industry person. I'm and really... get ready for it because it's about to happen even more because you got a mixtape. You got the EP. You got an album. You're going to be doing shows. You're going to be doing interviews. You're going to be on TV. You're in the industry. You need to be like my manager or publicist or something <laughs> like that. I can help you out with that. No problem, man. All right, good. I appreciate that. Hey, Safari in the building. Appreciate your time again. Thank y'all for having me. Shout out E-Man. Thank you, Felly Fell, for playing my record. I really, really appreciate it. I'll never forget this. You got to shout out the city of L.A., man. Oh, L.A., listen, man. L.A., like, I don't even know what to say besides, like, LA is just paradise. LA, I love you. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Thank you for the great food. Thank you for the great weather. Thank you for the great scenery. The smooth paved roads. I don't be running into too much potholes. You ain't got to bend up the cars right. and stuff. It's, it's great. He's wearing fur in the summer. Yeah. Put it that way. Power it's 106. <laughs> Stunt gang. Strip. Timberland. Best then, better now. Get yourself a pair at Robert Wayne Footwear.